This program is brought to you by the RHB Banking Group and The Star. And welcome to the RHB, the Star Mighty Minds Challenge 2010, where students from all over the country get to participate in this annual competition. Mighty Minds is an outlet for students to be creative and at the same time to outdo and outwit each other in a quiz competition. It is in its second running, so last year we witnessed students going head to head to win the grand prize of 5,000 ringgit. Penang backed both categories, so kudos to Penang. But what happened to the rest of you? It's time to do your best. Let's just hope this year, the team will make their state proud. Today, I am at Dataran Pahlawan in Malacca. Now, did you know that this is the place where our Prime Minister, who was also the father of independence, Tuan Ku Abdul Rahman, announced the date of our country's independence? Well, now you know. Alrighty then, are you ready to meet the great minds of Malacca? The RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2010 is open to all secondary schools in Malaysia, government and private schools. Schools are allowed to send in a maximum of one team for each category and there must be a teacher in charge with them. Each team consists of three students. The first round is the multiple choices quiz. This gives the teams 20% of the overall scores. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to begin RHB The Star's Mighty Minds Challenge 2010. This is the first challenge for the year, Malacca State. So give them all a round of applause. Susan took Billy Goat to a rectangular shaped 14 meters by 18 meters grazing a field. She packed Billy to the midpoint of a longer side using a 7 meter rope. Calculate Billy's maximum grazing area. The answer we want here is 77 meters square. 15 of you getting it right. Housefly, the houseflies shed her pupil stage, pupil stage on New Year's Day, and made a resolution that she must see the entire world before she dies. Under normal circumstances. How much time does House C5 have to accomplish this? And the answer we want is the life about 20 days. 20 days left to live. 25 of you getting it right. Huh? It's a great honor to perform in the Royal Albert Hall in London. In 1989, which Malaysian singer won for the best performer at the Asia Music Awards in that hall? And the answer we want is, of course, Dr. Sudirman Adiyasha. Mr. Scorpion was sobbing at his relative's funeral. Mr. Cockroach and Mrs. Butterfly consoled him. Whose funeral were they all attending? That's your question. Is it A, Mr. Spider, B, Mr. Wasp, C, Mr. Lobster, D, Mrs. Rhinoceros Beetle? The answer we want is the spider. 28 of you getting it right. Sheikh Amina bought five shirts from a wholesaler and then sold three shirts at the cost of five shirts. If she manages to sell all five in this manner, what will be her profit? Okay, all responses in. And the correct answer we're looking for is 66.7%. Grammy, Emmy and Academy Awards are awarded for outstanding achievements in certain fields. A bit of general knowledge here for you. Which of the following is the correct match? Which of the following is the correct match? If you think Grammy Awards are given to music industry, Emmy Awards for film industry and Academy Awards or television industry, you select B. Yeah? The correct answer we want is 
Grammy is for the music industry, Emmy is for television, and film industry is Oscars. All right, the first round is over. Finito. Let's check out the result and see the first top 10 teams. And now to move on to the next round, where qualifying teams for both categories, F1, 2, 3 and F4 and 5, will be doing their hands-on challenge. Hmm, I wonder what will they have to construct for this challenge? In round 2 is where the teams have to construct a model using the items given. This is called the hands-on challenge and it carries 30% of the marks. Teams need to explain to the judges in round 3, which is the oral presentation on how their models work. This round carries the most marks, which is 35%. It has a solid geometrical prism shape. This is to increase its base area and reduce the amount of area on top to lower its center of gravity. When I let go of the, the swing, it will move constantly and it will complete the objectives given to us. Our shells and the nucleus is not attached. This is because the original neon atom itself does not attach itself to the shells with the nucleus. So we decided to mimic it exactly. We can rotate it around. Unravel the word with the help of these four clues. The first clue, it is a country in which the Portuguese language is widely spoken. Second clue, a country that is famous for its samba dancing. Brazil. Can we have the mic? Your answer is? Brazil. Okay, Brazil is correct. Congratulations. His game uses rackets and goose feathers. Gajabrang. Badminton. Badminton is incorrect. You took a chance. Minus one point. Cricket. Cricket is incorrect. The, the question is not done. So the other three teams, you have a chance. Let's move on. Which sportsman brought glory to Malaysia in Birmingham this year? Lee Chong, Datuk Lee Chong Wei. Datuk Lee Chong Wei is correct. Well done. It took four minutes to cook four potatoes in a pot using boiling water. How long will it take to cook 16 potatoes Assuming there is enough boiling water and space. Convent buzz in first. Four minutes. Four minutes is correct. Well done. The angry dog is a homo sapiens. Your question. How many chromosomes does angry dog have? Yasin Satu. 46. 46 is correct indeed. Singapore was once part of Malaysia. Your question. In what year did she separate from Malaysia to form an independent republic? Yasin Saad, first to buzz in. 1965. 1965 is correct. Well done. Two points there for Yasin Saad Satu. It is a four-legged animal with a tail. I don't think you can buzz in now. There are many of them. It can run, it can walk, but it cannot jump or climb trees. Cat and replay. Elephant is correct. Well done, Catholic. You get the points there. Today, I am in the capital city of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Prajaya Times Square to be exact. 
Now, there are, this place is packed with students and I was walking around and I could see some people still flipping through their books for some last minute revision. Let's just hope the brain can actually absorb some information in this critical moment. Okay, let's begin the RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2010. Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia, is the home of one of the most tallest buildings in the world. The Petronas Twin Towers is where we are going to find KL's mightiest minds. Check out the number of people who are here today. Man, I can sense that this is going to be one of the toughest competition ever. Wow, the students in KL are happening, man. They are suddenly eager and excited and to show that they have the mightiest mind ever. Well, all right then, let's begin with round one. Ding, 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 ding. You're all set. Here we go then. Question number one. Fluorescent tubes are more commonly used than filament bulbs because of their higher efficiency. However, greater care is needed when disposing all fluorescent tubes. What gas fills up the tubes? All responses in. Let's see the correct answer for our first question. We are looking here for mercury vapor and only three teams have got off to a start. Wow, our question number one, only three teams are getting that right. A versatile actor from the 50s and 60s a Tansri called Siniman Agong. Who is this Malaysian personality? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have RHB the Stars Mighty Minds Challenge, a challenge of math, science, general knowledge. All responses in. And the answer we want here is none other than Tansri P. Ramli. Give them a round of applause. I'm the longest river in West Malaysia. Which of the following states do I not flow through? Your choices. One, Pahang, two, Trunganu, three, Klantan, and four, Joho. So choice A is Trunganu, Klantan, and Joho. Choice B is Trunganu and Joho. Choice three, choice C is Klantan and Joho. And choice D is Pahang, Trunganu, and Klantan. 15 teams only get to go through. And the correct answer for this question we are looking for is it does not flow through Trunganu, Kelantan, and Johor. What's the longest river in West Malaysia? Sungai Pahang. Sungai Pahang flows through Pahang only. Here we go. Question number one. Shown below is the logo of an international news network. Your question, where is the headquarters for this news network? All responses in. Al Jazeera, headquartered in the Middle East in Qatar. 14 are beginning in right, Qatar. 200,201 squared minus 200. 1,200 squared is equal to what? Work it out, work it out. Lots of big numbers there. The answer we're looking for here is 400,401. Nine of you getting it right. Deepak Chopra sat on a felucca cruising down the River Nile. While penning down some thoughts for his next book, he saw an abundance of a certain plant growing along the banks. What plant was it? Is it A, peppers, B, bamboo, C, lotus, or D, dates? And the answer we're looking here is for Papra, 53 out of you getting it right, only one of you getting it wrong. 53 teams getting that one correct. Whew, I can't believe my palms are sweating. That was like sitting for my exam all over again. It's okay, it's done. Take deep breaths. Okay, now let's take a look at the top 10 teams that got through to the second round. Booyah! 
Now, the next round is called the Hands-On Challenge. In this round, the teams are asked to build or construct a model using simple home-based and recycled items. Alright, here's the deal. There are four challenges in the RHB The Star Mighty Minds National Challenge 2010. We saw the multiple choices quiz and the hands-on challenge. After completing this, the teams are required to do an oral presentation to explain the mechanics of their model. This is the most crucial part because 35% of the marks are given for this challenge. So teams, make sure you have your thoughts in order. First of all, this umbrella is made with a PVC pipe and it has hinges so that we can expand and close the umbrella at will. When the wires make contact with the light bulb, uh, so here we use the uh, one of the scientific concepts that uh, metal is a conductor. Uncle Scrooge has 42 pieces of 5 ringgit and 10 ringgit notes in total. If the total amount of cash he has is 380 ringgit, how many 5 ringgit notes and 10 ringgit notes does he have? The 42, how many are 5 ringgit? Team 5, first to buzz in. 42 pieces of RM5 note and 17 pieces of RM10 note. Sorry, that answer is incorrect. Okay, time's up on the question. The answer we have is actually, there we go. 8 5 ringgit notes and 34 10 ringgit notes. Sea cucumber is a vegetable which is a prized food available, available in Asian markets. That is the sentence. That is the statement. What? Your chance? Sea cucumber is an animal. Sea cucumber is an animal is correct. Well done. Okay. After examining Polo Rossi, Dr. Mason said that his patella was inflamed. Which body part did Dr. Mason? Okay, team one, first to buzz in. Knee. Sorry? Knee. Knee. K N E E. Knee is correct, that's right. Sports commentator Steve Austin sets the ball high. Kobe Jensen jumps and spikes while his other five teammates brace for action. What game is being commentated? Team 5, first to buzz in. What's your Volleyball. answer? Volleyball. Volleyball is, I believe, the correct answer. Mac, Sack, Tech, and Peck are sitting on a bench in a garden. Sack and Mac are sitting next to each other. Sack and Tech are not side by side. Peck and Tech are also not side by side. Your question, state the correct sitting position of the four of them. Pack, sack, mac, and tack. That answer, say the judges, is correct indeed. So two points for team one. Huh? General Yamashita was known as Harimau Malaya 
during the Japanese occupation of Malaya in the Second World War. Yamashita, as all other Japanese, referred to in his native country as what? Team three, first to buzz in. Nippon. Nippon is correct indeed. Satisfied winning the title. I got a feeling <laughs> that tonight's gonna be a good night. Because you cannot study everything, it's impossible to know every single detail of everything. So we were, in a way, very lucky. We are the champions, my friends. Yeah, so tell me, how does it feel? This whole experience, were you guys nervous when you first joined this competition? Uh, yes, last year was our first year and we were really nervous. But this year I think we were more composed and we managed to get through. But the toughest thing was the second round where we really, uh, I mean, we just had to put everything together. And once we got the results for the second round and we knew we were through, I think that by then on we were quite confident that we would, we would win. Excellent. How did you feel about the whole thing? Which was the hardest part for you? The hardest part was the hands-on challenge where we had to build uh, the digestive system. And we were very excited at the starting, so we started cutting up things and and later we realized that we needed the thing as a whole and then we started pasting things together and we finished but we still managed to finish early great and what about you did you did they like say that come on you gotta do your work you gotta do your yeah, work yeah most of the time but <laughs> for me i think the whole thing was a bit nervous because this is my first year and hope to do it again next year oh great to know congratulations once again let's just hope you're not brain dead at the moment yeah. I hear no? No. no no all right i've got the winner for category f4 f5 where are your team members? How come you're alone? Uh, they've all gone home. And why are you running away from me? Come closer. To celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How can they celebrate without you? Why not? I don't know. I mean, it's a teamwork sort of thing and you're here by yourself. But tell me, how does it feel? Feels great, of course. Are you looking forward to the big event? Uh, no, because I'm afraid that I won't be able to answer the questions. <laughs> well, that's why you have two other members to help you out. So tell me, um, what are your preparations next for the big finals? Well, naturally, we'd be, you know, surfing the net and stuff like that, but nothing much. No special preparations. So do you think these people in school will give you some special treatment, probably throw you a big party because you just won? No, they've got much fam much more famous people than us. No worries. Oh, trust me, after this, you will be famous. You just made your school proud. High five. High All right. So I will see you in the next stage. And on behalf of the RHB Banking Group and the STAR,